Hello! Another day building go-karts today. Um, Jordan's here, Amanda's here, and Matt's here. Um, we have just took the wheel off the rear axle and we're going to put the bearings on the axle and we're going to try to mount the axle to the frame permanently. So uh, we're going to get that done. Okay, so I have my bearings and ba bearing hangers tack welded on right now. Um, so this is almost a legitimate rolling frame at this point. So I'm going to bring out the big boy stick welder and weld the rest of this on and probably cut off the rest of these uh, random tubing bits on the top here because they're going to get in the way now. So I'm going to get that done. Okay, so the bearing mounts are now fully welded on, as you can see here. Now what I'm doing is I'm cutting off some pieces of uh, angle iron for supporting brackets. I'm going to use the torch to do that, so I'm going to get that done. Quality of the results here. Hi again, just me here today. Um, I'm going to put the first video and this second video I'm going to do into one. I didn't do a whole lot the other night. So, but I did manage to get this rear axle mounted onto the rest of the go kart. So, that's what this all looks like. Um, so what I'm doing right now is, well I just got all my stuff on the axle, tightened up all my bolts and everything, and now I'm going to start mounting the transmission along with the engine again. Um, but first things first, I'm going to take all this extra tubing stuff off because I don't need it and it's going to get in the way. So I'm going to do that. Alrighty, as you can see, I took off all this extra tubing stuff with the torch and now I'm going to mount the engine back on and hopefully fit up my transmission today. Okay, so I have the engine back on for a moment. Uh, I'm just looking and uh, comparing where I should mount my transmission and everything. Um, and I'm kind of it's disappointing because I'm probably going to have to cut off this piece too because I'm going to have to mount the transmission like right here but like further back than what I wanted to so I'm probably going to have to remove this uh, bar that was here already I just thought it'd be a cool uh, like bumper thing to keep on there but fortunately I'm going to have to cut it off so I'm going to do that alrighty so here's what I'm up to I was just uh, randomly mucking some stuff up like the front seat I didn't put it on but I just wanted to see how it how it looked on there so uh, I was on there and well right now I'm actually working on putting on the transmission which is a um, I'm sure a lot of people are interested to see so uh, I had the engine bolted back down actually I moved if we can see the original bolt hole is up front there it's going to be back, moved back some more so I can uh, have a decent uh, amount of leg room here so I'm going to do that later and drill some, uh, drill some new holes for the uh, motor mounts but anyways um, I have the pulley attached on the transmission and on the uh, 
engine output shaft. Um, this transmission is going to be oriented, uh, excuse me, like so, like this. Um, the sprocket is in the middle right here, and it, I'm going to have to cut a hole through the uh, red plate here to allow the chain to run through to the axle. I originally planned to have this sprocket on this side, have this transmission flipped over, and have the uh, chain and sprocket run on the outside where this uh, where the sprocket on the uh, axle is right now. But unfortunately, it's I didn't realize it, but it spins the wrong way. So uh, it's no problem. I'll just have to uh, do some uh, uh, cutting, and I'll have to take the axle back out and move the uh, sprocket down in past the bearings. So. Uh, well, first things first, I'm going to make uh, some mounting brackets for this transmission. You see there's these there's these little uh, protrusions here that have uh, places for um, bolts to go through. So I'm going to use some angle iron to fasten this uh, transmission to the uh, rest of the frame. So I'm going to do that. Okay, what I'm doing right now is I have to cut down some bolts to fit the uh, mounting points for the transmission because the bolts I have, the shortest ones, are too long. So what I have done is I'm using the good old uh, angle grinder and I'm cutting down bolts to size. Now what I do, it's a good tip I guess, is I put on a nut on each bolt and it leaves me a good marker to see how much I cut off to uh, keep my cuts uh, consistent and also when I take the nuts off the bolt, it prevents, or doesn't prevent, it actually fixes up the uh, messed up thread at the end. And it's easier to uh, file that extra uh, thread that's messed up off at the end. So it's easier to uh, screw back in again. Okay, so here's what the uh, beginning of my transmission mounts are going to look like. Um, after this, I'm going to weld on another uh, a six-inch section here and another one there. That'll come out and they'll be welded on right in here, and that'll hold up the transmission nicely. Um, so yeah, all I already have got the holes drilled and it's already mounted onto the transmission, the, the existing part of the mounts. So all I have left to do really is just weld those two bottom pieces on and uh, actually weld it onto the frame. So I'm going to get busy with that. Okay, so here's the transmission mounts all welded together, mocked up where they're going to sit. Like so. It's not welded on yet, obviously. It's just kind of sitting in here like that. But uh, yeah, that's what it's going to look like. And then I'm going to have my belt running from here to here. And this chain is going to go right down. I'm going to have to cut a, cut a hole right here. It's going to run through there. So uh, yeah, that's what that looks like. Um, right now, I'm, I'm running out of uh, time for the night, but I'm going to try to get this uh, transmission mount permanently on here. Uh, so I got to grind some paint off, and I'll uh, hopefully weld this on, and uh, yeah, I'll get that all done for tonight. So okay, here's the transmission permanently mounted. A little, little bit of welding on the bottom, four bolts to hold it on to the uh, mountain pieces, and uh, yeah, that's about, about all I'm going to do for the mounts. So, Alright, it's like 11.30, so it's bedtime for me. Um, I hope you like what you guys see, and um, if you're not following this build, I highly suggest you do, and my other things that I do. So, um, as always. Thank you for watching. Hmm, every time I come down here, this looks more and more like a machine rather than just a pile of parts. Here's another shot of the engine and transmission setup. Well, I can't believe this entire drivetrain is almost complete. Just have to get a belt and tensioner up here run my chain and sprocket assembly down through the uh, base here and 
yeah, just hook up a clutch once everything's done up there. But, uh, yeah, well, that's about all she wrote for today. So, uh, again, thanks for watching.